hello guys welcome to a new video in this video we are going to fix the issue for need for speed high stakes and need for speed 3 on modern windows operating system in an earlier video i showed you how you can how you can pass the need for speed high stakes game to run on modern operating system and also in another video i also showed you how to pass the need for speed 3 game for modern os but in some cases you might fail to run the game with the setting showed in my video specifically if you try to run the game with the direct 3d uh, hardware accelerator on your pc the game might fail to run this may happen because of the small texture uh, small texture size of the textures used in the game or it might be your hardware so in this video we are going to show you a few more fixes for running the game first of all i am going to fix the need for speed high stakes game now if you try to run the game with the original d3dr.dll file provided with the game the game will still crash on windows 8 now we are going to fix this issue for that you have to use a different dll file as i provided with the file in the description the dll files will be for directx 6 7 8 and 9 first of all i am going to try the directx 9 dll file Name the original D3 DLL file to something else and then rename the DirectX 9 DLL file to G3DA.DLL. Now I'm going to run the game. Electronic Arts. I'm going to decrease the sound of the game. Okay, we have successfully decreased the sound. Now let's start a race here. The game has loaded properly now. You can see Three, that there is two, no black screen. One, go. Let me decrease the sound again. Uh, okay, you can see that the black screen problem does not persist anymore. Let's run the game for some time. So you can see that the game is running properly with proper textures without any major graphical glitches and without any uh, black screen issue. So now let's exit the game and use other DLL files like the DirectX 8 or 7. Similarly for DirectX 9 case, copy the DirectX 8 DLL file and paste it in the Electro uh, need for speed high stakes folder replacing the original DLL file. Okay, we are going to rename the file. Let's run the game.
let's start a race now the game will also run with the DirectX 8 DLL file without any problem we can also change the graphical setting from the game settings if you want I'm going to change the graphic settings here You can see that the game is running properly with the DirectX 8 DLL files. Now let's try the DirectX 7 files. There are two DirectX 7 files, one for the normal game and another if you are using high, polygon, high quality polygons. First of all, we'll try the high quality polygons one. So now we can start the race. <coughs> you can see that the collection screen issue still exists. It will exist in most of the computers because of the DLL file that is used and with and because of the incompatibility with modern windows you can also see that the rain effects are properly rendered without any um, without any major bugs or glitches in the graphics Now we'll try the last one, the original DirectX 7 DLL file. We cannot try the, uh, the DirectX 6 file because it is the original file that was included with, with NFS high stakes. Copy to the NFS high stakes folder. Just run the game. screen still flashes but you will get graphics without any black screen here
game is running properly with the DirectX 7 DLL files too. So you can see that the different DLL files that I provided you with the compatibility, compatibility fix zip file are working properly with an other operating system on a different PC. So these DLL files actually work without any problems. So now we'll go, we are going to try to run the Need for Speed 3 game on this PC. First of all, I'm going to insert the Need for Speed 3 disk. Okay, now I'm going to run the game. We'll use the original DLL file that was provided with the game, the 1998 DirectX 5 DLL file. Let's start the game. It crashed to the desktop without any error, uh, errors. This might happen because of the low quality texture size as I mentioned earlier. But now if I try to run the game with the different DLL files provided with Need for Speed High Sticks, the game will run. Let me show you now. However, you cannot use the DirectX 6 DLL file because it also probably it probably uses the same uh, low quality DirectX uh, texture sizes. We are going to start with the DirectX 7 DLL file. Now let's run the game. The game is running. Let's start a match. Let the race begin. The flashy screen problems also encounters in this game. Now let's play the game for some time to see if there are any problems with the graphics the black screen issue is now uh, is now fixed without any bugs I would like to stop the game here to show you one thing. If you look closely at the front tree, you can see there that there is a graphical artifact. This is probably occurring because of the different DLL file used for the game. You will uh, you will encounter some graphical artifacts while running this game because of the different DLL file used. Now we'll use the DirectX 9 DLL file to run the game and also with the high polygon DLL file. Let's select a different location.
so you can see that the game also works with the high polygon patch for DirectX 7 we will now try out the last one that is the DirectX 9 I am not going to try out the DirectX 8 because it is also going to run the game without any problem I'm also going to change the link for this fix for NFS3 because this DLL files will be useful for you if you are unsuccessful in playing the game with Direct3D. So the game also works properly with the DirectX 9 DLL files. So I'm now going to end the video at this point. So what you learned from this video? This video was meant to show that if you were unsuccessful in playing the game with the original Direct uh, Direct 3D DLL files, you should consider using the alternative uh, Direct 3D DLL files, which is included with the compatibility fix. I'm also going to change the link for the NFS3 com uh, compatibility fix because these direct 3D files will be required for you. So if you are unsuccessful in playing the game NFS3 with the original direct 3D file, you should consider using this file uh, if you download these DLL files from the link provided in the description. So thanks for watching this video guys. Subscribe to the channel, like this video and as always stay tuned for more videos. Oh, 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 oh,